Hey DIYers, I'm George from Alarm Grid. Today we're going to be going over how to upgrade your cellular communicator in your 2GIG GC3. So today we're actually going to be upgrading our CDMA communicator that we have in the GC3 right now to an LTE communicator. All right. Um, first thing you do want to make sure before you upgrade this communicator is to let your monitoring company know that you're going to be doing so. Why? Because they're going to need the new serial number or in your case, it, they don't need information off of that cell radio. And the reason they need it is so that they can input it into alarm.com to get it activated for you. So whoever you're being monitored by, just make sure that you let them know beforehand that you are upgrading the cellular communicator. Also, if you're going to be upgrading the cellular communicator to an LTE, make sure your panel's on the correct firmware. The firmware needs to be 3.0.2. Now we have that, we have that step on our page. We actually have a video and an FAQ on how to upgrade your GC3 firmware. So if you guys need help doing that as well, make sure you look up that FAQ and that video and you'll be able to get your GC3 on the latest firmware. Um, now, just to go ahead and start off, if you guys have uh, never replaced uh, the firmware on the GC3, it's actually pretty easy. And I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now. First thing we want to do is make sure we go into system settings in the bottom right hand corner. We're going to enter in our master code or our installer code. Right now, it doesn't matter which one you use. For instance, I can use my master code, which is defaulted at 1111. Obviously, yours may be different if you or your monitoring company has changed it. You could have also used the default installer code if you guys haven't changed it as well. It's 1561. Again, if all of those codes have been changed, you want to make sure you use one of the ones that you know or one of the ones that is tied into your system. So master code or the installer code. Now that I'm on this screen, I'm going to scroll all the way down and you should see the option to do cell radio swap. Once I hit on that cell radio swap, it's going to ask me to begin. Now, once I hit this begin, I'm going to need to uh, basically open up this little side compartment here, take out the old cell radio and put the new one in. Now it's telling me to remove the cell module. Now, some of you guys, when you go to open up this uh, little side cover here, if you're looking at it directly, it's actually on the left hand side. You'll notice that it may be locked. It doesn't come out. If you push out on that little tab, it could be because the cell radio cover is actually locked. And I'm going to show you guys how to unlock it right now. So first thing you're going to need is a flathead, right? We're going to need around the, the, the silver trim right here. There's actually a small little gap. So you're going to put your flathead right into that little gap and you're going to twist it to the side to pop the cover. Try holding that side open so that you can actually pop multiple sides and the cover should come right off. Now, there's this little screw right here. If you guys have yours set to L for locked, that means that this little side cover is not going to open up. Now, usually, we leave it as unlocked. The side cover doesn't come off on its own either. It's just so that if you want to prevent someone from manually opening it, it's not like the side cover is going to fall out. It's just going to prevent anyone from actually manually releasing the side cover. So I mean, you can leave it as locked after you install the new one. But for right now, you do have to unlock it. So give me just one moment. All right. So now that I finally got the little screw taken out, um, again, if you guys want, you can actually just put this little screw in the unlock, in the unlock spot right here in the in that slot. Um, again, you really don't need to have this in the lock phase unless you're really worried about your kids or someone pulling this little slot out, right? Um, so after you have the little screw taken out, I'm just gonna leave it off to the side. If you wanna, if you want. You can actually just screw it into the unlock slot there and you should be fine. I'm going to put my cover back on so it just snaps into place. Snap all four corners. Good, good. Snapped into place. So again, if you place your le left thumb after you unlock the little side cover, this side cover now should come out pretty easily. Now it wants us to remove the cell module and insert the new one. So we're going to remove the cell module. It has a little plastic tab. Give me one second. Whoops. Let me go back into that screen. So radio swap, remove the cell module. 
I'm just gonna pull it out. If you see, it has this little kind of uh, tab right here that allows you to pull it out by. So all you do, when you just grab the little tab, you pull it out, it comes directly out the system. All right. Um, now we need the LTE communicator. So let me just go ahead and grab that for you. And then if you see the panel, notices we took out the cell module. So after we take out the cell module, now it's saying that to insert the cell radio module and select done. So now it's waiting for us to input the new LTE GC3 cellular communicator, which is uh, comes in this little packaging right here. So let me go ahead and open it up for you. <clears throat> All right, comes in a little bubble wrap, take it out. And again, if you guys need to get the serial number, remember it's actually found on the sticker on the cell radio, yeah? Um, obviously you don't need to zoom in, but every cell radio is gonna come with a little sticker, which you can actually get the cellular information for it. And your monitoring company is going to need the serial number, which is abbreviated at, as SN, that's Sierra, Sierra no Sierra November and then it's all and then it will probably also need the IMEI all right so make sure you get one of those two numbers and the and the monitoring company should be fine with either or so now it's saying to insert the new cell radio module it only fits in one way so you just put it into the little side cover and it fits directly in once you have that in there go ahead and put your little side cover back on as well um, Put in the back first. Give me one moment. After you put the back in, go ahead and close it up. Insert the cell radio module and select done. After we select done, it's gonna start registering. So it might take a little bit on the system. Um, as you see now it says working. So what it's doing right now is it's registering the cellular communicator. It's recognizing that it took out the old one and it's basically setting all the settings to the LTE. Um, so once it's done, it'll actually, I believe it'll say done on the screen and then we just back out to the home screen and it's always best after you input a new cell module to send a cell radio test to your central or to your monitoring company so that it can verify that it's working. They can check the signal strength and make sure that everything is still the same as before. You just upgrade it to an LTE. Now, one of the reasons you also may be upgrading to an LTE communicator is if your CDMA is going into a sunset. So for those of you who have CDMA right now, you actually are good for a couple more years. I don't know exactly when the exact sunset date is for CDMA, but I know you have a good two to three years left on that. Um, I believe it's sometime in 2022. But uh, again, that's just for the CDMA radios on the actual alarm systems. So if uh, the CDMA sunsets or if the CDMA just stops working, obviously contact your monitoring company first to see what the issue is. And if it does turn out to be that the CDMA radio is no longer working or it's obsolete, then that's just when you may need to upgrade to an LTE communicator, which is gonna give you long, longer longevity for, for the lifetime of the cellular communicator. Um, again, this usually takes a couple of minutes, so as soon as it's done, I'll show you guys how to do the cell radio test. All right, so it looks like the registration finished. However, as you see, we're getting an error here. Um, well, it was there was an error saying that the cell radio was not detected, but then I gave it a couple of seconds here, and now it says that the cell radio module swap was complete. So as you see, it takes a little bit for the system to recognize that there's a new cellular module in there. So if you see that error, don't get alarmed. Just give it a couple of more seconds and it'll come up on here. And uh, before I said that it was going to give you a done option, it actually, even better, gives you the radio test um, button right there. All right, so as you see on this screen, it's actually asking if you want to do the uh, cell, the radio test from right there. So you guys can either choose to do the radio test with your monitoring company on the line, or you guys can just back out to the home screen so just um, hit the uh, little greenhouse button here to bring you back to the home screen. And uh, 
Again, this was just a quick video on how to upgrade your cellular communicator in your GC3 to an LTE communicator. You want to make sure you use that cell radio swap. Obviously, make sure you work with your monitoring company and you let them know that way that they can uh, they can make sure everything is ready and set for you to go. But um, if you guys do have any questions, feel free to email us at support at alarmgrid.com. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure you hit like underneath, subscribe to the YouTube channel, and enable the notifications so whenever we upload new content, you guys do get notified. I'm George. I'll see you guys next time.